we'll put rock salt in the shells, stick them in the revolver. If they start getting large, we'll bang a couple into them and that should slow them down and they won't know the difference, will they? And then Bob's our driver and... Mm -hmm. I don't want to use Bob. What? I don't want to use Bob, but he's our driver. The wild bunch is not complete without the driver. No. What's happened between you and Bob then? There's something about Bob that I don't think you know. What's that then? That he's a puff. How the fuck did you know that? Come on, everyone knows he's a flamer. You're the only one that doesn't know. He likes the boys. It's sausage and beans all day long, mate. What the fuck are you talking about? Did he make a pass at you? Yes, he fucking did. So what's the problem, hey? It was supposed to be his last night. You took care of him. That's what friends do for one another. Well done. And I won't tell the chaps. What the fuck do you mean? You won't tell the chaps what? So what did you do? Did you suck his... Hey, hey, that's enough, all right? What the fuck is going on here? What, did you suck his... You must have touched him. No! Hey? Hold on. I'm not gay. All right, Mumble. Just asked if I wanted to dance, that's all. Was it a slow dance? Hey! What has he done to me? Mr. One Two, I think there is something you should know about our Bob. Who do you think looked after your mum before she died when you was doing a two stretch? Hey? Because it wasn't me. And I'm your best fucking pal. No, it was Bob. Bob was around there six times a week without fail, making sure she was looked after. You tore your mum's heart out when you went away, and Bob did his best to put it back. I tell you something, Mr. One Two. If I could be half the human that Bob is at the price of being a puff, I'd think about it. Not for too long, but I'd have to pause, you know?